Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do a flower dip. Just a good old flower dip, if, if we can say old, because it's not so old. I'm just looking for a better angle, or how can I say? So I have 8x8 eight eight inch canvas for this. And first I will grab my, um, I will do it like that, my acrylic marker to mark where my canvas will be. Uh, and by the way, if you maybe didn't hear that yet, uh, the big event, fluid art event, will be in Dublin next year. Um, come paint with us in Castle, in Ireland. I will put all the information in the description box. I'm looking forward to it, so come join us. Uh, and one of the techniques that I will teach you is flower dip. So we will do some regular flower dips and some double dips. Uh, they are different than the reverse ones that we do with napkin. And it has different um, effects too, so it's not the same. It's not the same technique, reverse dip or flower dip, so that's why I will teach them both, that you can choose or maybe join me in both of them. Uh, I love, when I was on poor corn I realized how fun it is to teach life. It's totally different because you can explain more in details, you can show the consistency, everything it's easier <clears throat> to see this on in life. Yes, I know it maybe seems uh, easy, but it's not. I have a little too much paint here, so I will just grab some and put it on the canvas. You have to have quite an amount of paint just to uh, to cover your canvas and have enough to um, force, or how can I say, paint to <clears throat> react with each other and create some nice patterns. So I will just wet my canvas down too with the black. Just wet it down a little bit. Okie doke. This is more like the amount that I want. And on the table I have just a plastic, you can use plastic sheets or bags or whatever you want, it's not <clears throat> important, you don't need to have, I don't know, the exact same plastic as I am or something. Okay. So for the colors, today I will use only piggies and some white. I will use axolotl. This color is gorgeous. Shifts from pink to blue. I have Persephone. Black Forest. And Waterfall. And because my pouring medium is white, when it's wet it dries clear, but it's it is white when it's wet. The colors are a little muted and this is my consistency. Leaves a mound and disappears. And I mix my piggies first. I disperse them with polyurethane satin varnish by Vallejo. 
and then I add my regular pouring medium Basner binder and acrylic emulsion that we will use in Dublin too. So I decided that I will go kind of a freestyle. I will just drizzle some paint on this surface and when this will dry I will use this as a skin so it's not a wasted material as some, as some maybe think. We probably uh, not probably, definitely save a lot more of the material that maybe some people think and I will add some white here too just titanium white by itself should produce some nice effects with other colors okay and now I will go with waterfall This waterfall is gorgeous. And so Persephone. I'm using Persephone for the first time. I don't know what I what I saw on the reveal day should be beautiful. And some axolotl. Yes, it looks just pink, but believe me, it's not. I did some tests with that, with this one, and it's gorgeous. And I will add some white on top, just as I said, it's not pearl white just for some effects maybe okay and now I will dip my canvas into that that's why it's called dip okie doke and now I will just press and try to get all the, all the air out I don't like to do that with um, cards or whatever. Some people do that like that. I just want to fill it with my hand. And what will create a flower is, I will try to lift it up straight up and paint will float towards the middle and hopefully create some kind of abstract flower shape. So. Let's see. Try to go slow and straight up. And I think that I even press too hard, but here in the middle. But it's beautiful. So here is a close up of the first one. Now I like it. <laughs> Even this part, but when I will show you the close up, maybe you will see what I was telling you about. And you have to wait for the dry result of this flower because it will be gorgeous I think because of all these piggies that will here she is dry <clears throat> and shimmery and color shifty and beautiful I hope that I will manage to
show this on camera because Just a second, I will try to grab it. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Persephone and axolotl and waterfall amazing uh, it kind of looks a little not too much maybe the green forest but I like it because it just kind of fade fading into the dark background so I'm really happy with this one you can learn this with me in Dublin next year, in June, in Feb. So check the Fluid Art Boutique site for more info. Links will be in the description too. So, hope to see you in Dublin or on the next video. Bye!